So today we're going to be talking about prescription drug addiction and how do you know when it's become an addiction? I think the topic is pretty widespread and it hurts my heart to talk about this subject due to helping a lot, a lot of clients that were struggling with the prescription drug addiction. So a couple questions for the audience out there. How do you know that it's become an addiction? So the past clients that I've had, clients that have been in horrendous car accidents that were giving, given um, opiate medication, benzos, to ease the pain from the serious injuries that they suffered, were on these medications for years sometimes. And part of the addiction is the tolerance level with these medications goes up and up and up and up and up. So the doctors keep prescribing and increasing the doses up and up and up and up and up. For the client, they get to a point where they're almost in a heroin-like state, uh, very lethargic, um, having a hard time with bowel movements, having a hard time um, eating, having a hard time just being present in day-to-day -day life, being a productive part of society. So when it gets to that point for a client, then they reach out for help. And I have actually had the opportunity to help several of these clients that were struggling either from a you know car crash to some something wrong with their body where they were giving these prescription medications the sad thing is is that when you're on actual prescription medications for a while you can't distinguish on whether it's the pain of whatever injuries that you suffered or if it's maybe a slight detox from the prescription medication because the levels aren't high enough for you. So it's been in my experience that we can't, as a treatment facility, as a clinician, really figure that out until those prescription medications are tapered down to a point where we can actually see if there's actual pain going on. With some of these particular clients, they were too scared to come off the prescription medication. So the addiction kept on. They got scared once their dosage got too low um, on the taper with a treatment facility. Or, good news, is that some clients are in so much pain, emotionally, physically, spiritually, that they're willing to do whatever it takes to get off these prescription medications. I think it's a really important topic to talk, to talk about because I know a lot of people out there that are on prescription medication and they're, they've been on these for years. And um, in my personal opinion, it's just masking and masking and masking to the point where at some point you got to figure out where your pain level is and where your doses are and how do we get you to a point where you feel present enough to be a productive part of society. I know it's a scary thing to talk about and I know it's a scary thing to think that you might have a, an addiction problem. However, the good news is, is that our facilities at beginning treatment centers actually have licensed psychologists, licensed therapists, a great medical doctor that can help taper you down off those prescription drug medications so that we can actually see what kind of pain that you're you're going through and then we assess like let's let's assess and maybe look at alternative methods like acupuncture or maybe you know uh, going to a chiropractor or you know finding some non-narcotic medications to help you through it there's so many solutions out there and if you or a loved one are suffering with this prescription drug addiction, please give us a call. Like we're right here. You can call me directly at any time. Um, I'll answer my phone 24 hours a day. If you'd like to learn about Adderall addiction, click here.